Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So today, what I want to talk about is Cooler Master. Let's, uh, they've given me a little bit of problems, but I think I've figured out some things for the most part. So first thing I want to talk about is uh, I've gotten so many questions about essentially how do you get Cooler Master stuff to work? So what we're going to do is we're going to just go to the Cooler Master and then we're going to do, what is it? Master Plus. All right. So from this website right here, this right here, download V831. When you click that, it goes to this. This is the Master Plus software download. I will include that link down below. And compatible products, this is not everything I've learned. Um, my MF120 Halos are not in this list of compatible products. Um, so it, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. But essentially, once you get here, you're going to download this program, okay? So it's going to look like this right here, right here on, on your desktop, Master Plus, right there. So when you open it up, this is what you get. Now, if it does not recognize the controller that you have plugged in, come on, there we go. If it does not recognize the controller that you have plugged in, my recommendation would be connecting it by USB. So let me show you how my setup is. My setup, I have everything, I have everything connected for ARGB control. So there's four channels on one side of this controller, and then there's one ARGB header out going to the motherboard header. One thing I did not include in this is that there is also a USB. There is a USB that it attaches to the controller. I believe it's down on the bottom, one of these sides over here. And that USB also connects to the motherboard. So if you have Master, uh, what, what is it? Cooler Master, that's the one. <laughs> if you have Cooler Master products and you're wanting to use your ARGB controller or any RGB controller, matter of fact, that's gonna be the way that I'm certain that you'll be able to basically break down and control each individual LED. Now, I also was having some problems with my controller, so I said, well, I said, what can I do to be able to see if my uh, controller to see, see if my controller was having anything wrong with it. I was looking basically for an update, so I did some Googling and I think Reddit showed me firmware update. And this link will also be in the link below. So the ARGB controller that I have is gonna be this one. It, it tells you what, so mine came with the ML360R, so that basically tells me that that's the same controller. So this link will also be in the description down below. So basically when you're using Cooler Master products, it's super finicky. You have to make sure you have your firmware up to date on your controller. You have to make sure you have a USB connected to the motherboard. And then basically at that point, it's all preferential. The way I leave all of my stuff is on motherboard control. And the reason why I leave it on motherboard control is so that way I can control it with my motherboard software. Now I have Asus, so I have Armory Crate. My Armory Crate software, it does okay. Um, I just like the simple fact it can control everything all together. I'm sure there's other stuff out there, I just haven't dove into it that far, but I can, you'll see my color screw up, <laughs> but I can, uh, essentially I'm okay with using this software. So it, it's just, it's, that's just what the way I use it. So I had to do all of that to be able to essentially use this at this level. So I hope this video made a little bit of sense to you. Um, once again, the links down below will be in the description. Um, please like and subscribe if this video helped you at all, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.